our nation is witnessing the largest infrastructure creation drive in our history. India is contributing towards a prosperous and resilient world through the clarion call of an Atman Nirbhar Bharat. Under the visionary leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, the resolve to build a self-reliant India is infused today across sectors, including the sector of tourism, which is full of immense potential. To harness limitless possibilities the tourism sector offers, several initiatives have been taken in the last seven years. An important step towards this vision is the effort to preserve the heritage of Puducherry. The iconic Mary, the town hall of Puducherry, stands as a reminder of Puducherry's Indo-French heritage, colonial extravagance and architecture. The building collapsed after the torrential rains of November 2014. It is rebuilt after a worthy expenditure of 15 crore, with the original diverse architecture preserved. Puducherry's maritime glory will return with the new minor port project. The Sagar Mala scheme through capital dredging will increase Puducherry's cargo handling capacity to 4 lakh tons per annum, facilitate the movement of vessels and improve the livelihood of more than a thousand fishermen families. The dredged sand of 7.3 lakh cubic meters will be used to restore the beaches. This endeavor will reduce the time and cost of cargo reaching Puducherry port. The overall project also entails the arrival of terminals, thereby boosting tourism and improving industrialization. The project in Phase 1 worth Rs 44 crore includes dredging and construction of a barrier to avoid solid effluent reaching the navigation channel, is a step towards the Prime Minister's vision. One of the objectives of Kalo India scheme is to provide modern infrastructure. The old 400 meters track in the Indira Gandhi sports complex is of cinder. So for the improvement of the sports performance and to drive further the nation's vision of a more sportive India comes an investment of 7 crore under the Kalo India scheme for a synthetic athletic track that will address the needs of the extremely talented sportsmen of Puducherry. Sportiveness is not only for a healthy nation but also for an empowered one. As part of the Prime Minister's dream of empowered women across the nation is the Sports Authority of India 100-bedded girls hostel. Built with a significant investment of 12 crore for accommodating 100 female athletes. Chipma Blood Bank, in existence for over 50 years, has acquired a new state-of-the-art blood center at the cost of Rs 28 crore. This building houses the latest facilities, including blood donor areas, transplant services, advanced immunohematological and molecular laboratories, and academic research and training facilities. JIPMA started its second campus in 2016 in Karaikal from two temporary locations. It currently admits 63 MBBS students every year. Construction of an independent campus, including the medical college building, hostels, residential complex, auditorium, sports complex at a cost of Rs 491 crore by CPWD, will give a major boost to Karaikal and the surrounding areas. A hospital building with 500 beds is planned in the second phase. National Highway No. 45A is an integral part of the picturesque East Coast Road in Tamil Nadu and Union Territory of Puducherry, connecting Chennai and Nagapattinam. Development of this corridor is in four contract packages. The Satanathapuram Nagapattinam section is the fourth package, covering a length of 55.755 km. The total project cost for package 4 is Rs 2,426 crore and the work is expected to be completed in two years' time. The four-lane project is designed with robust structures that enable seamless movement of vehicular traffic. When completed, the highway corridor will yield various benefits for road users. With inaugurations and the foundation stones laid, Puducherry will move towards the direction of prosperity.